Good morning. The first class of our fourth semester, we have started about the nucleus. What is a nucleus? And the, the classification of nuclei. And we have started about the different properties or general properties of a nucleus. So the first property we have seen that it is the nuclear size. And the nuclear size, the radius of the nucleus is given by R is equal to R0 into A raised to 1 by 3, where R0 is equal to 1.3 femtometer. So, the general properties of nucleus. First one is the size. That is R is equal to R0 into A is to 1 by 2. This is the radius of the nucleus. Here A is the mass number of the nucleus. That is the number of protons plus number of neutrons. The second property is the nuclear mass. mass. So you can see that what is the uh, mass of the nucleus. So the mass of the nucleus will be given by the mass of protons and the mass of neutrons. So we can see that the mass of the nucleus should be mass of protons plus mass of neutrons. That means if there are set number of protons then set it to the mass of one proton plus if there are any neutrons then n into the mass of one neutron will give the total mass. The actual mass is not the sum of the total number for proton mass plus total neutron mass. There is some defect and this defect is known as mass net mass defect and you can see that the total mass, the total mass of protons plus total mass of neutrons will be always greater than the real mass of the nucleus. So we are assuming that the nucleus should have a mass of the assumed mass assumed mass is equal to if there are set number of neutrons then set it into mass of proton plus n into ma mass of neutron will be the assumed mass. But the real mass of the nucleus is less, always less than this one. That is the real mass of the nucleus. Real mass let it be m. So the real mass is always less than the set into mp plus n into m. Or we can write set into mp plus n into m. Mass of the nucleus 
divided by volume of the nucleus. Which is equal to we can generalize the mass of nucleus as what is the volume of mass of nucleus? We can give the mass of nucleus equal to this is the mass number into mass of nucleon. One mass of one nucleon. Since the protons and neutrons are having almost similar mass, uh, the same mass, we can assume that A into mass of neutrons. Mass of nucleons will give the total mass of the nucleus. And this value is equal to A into 1.67. A into 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. This is the mass of one nucleon. So, we, the, the total mass of the nucleus will be depending upon A. So, what is the volume of the nucleon? Nu volume of the nucleus. Volume of the nucleus. We are assuming the nucleus is in a spherical shape. So, we can take the volume of the nucleus. 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of the nucleus that is 4 by 3 pi r cube but you can see that what is r r is equal to r 0 into a raised to 1 by 3 so this is equal to 4 by 3 into pi into r 0 into a raised to 1 by 3 whole cube which is equal to 4 by 3 into pi into r0 cube into a. So what is the density? Rho n is equal to mass of nucleus that is a into mn that is a into 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 divided by that much kilogram divided by 4 by 3 pi into r0 cube a. Then A will get cancelled. So this value is 3 into 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 divided by 4 pi R0 cube kilogram per meter cube. So all the values are known. The, this pi and also R0 is equal to 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 15 meter. So everything we have to substitute. And you will get the value as 1.8217 into 10 raised to 17 kilogram per meter cube. We can see that the density of the nucleus is very high, very very high. That is, it is the order of uh, in, in one uh, cubic uh, volume, one cubic volume, we have this much. Uh, of mass is there in the nucleus. That means it is in a highly compressed state. The nucleus is in a highly compressed state. And in the case of white dwarfs, etc., these stars are composed of atoms and the electrons are, the electronic shells are collapsed into the nucleus. So it is having, so the, it is having tremendous pressure, enormous pressure in the nucleus. So it is highly collapsed state. So the white dwarf etc. are having the same density that is the nucleus of an atom is having it or it is compressed uh, enormously or it is in a highly compressed state. That is the second property. First property is the nuclear size. The second property is the nuclear mass. So you can see that the nuclear density is 1.87 into 10 raised to 1, 17 kilogram per meter cube. This is the second property. The third property is nuclear charge. What is the charge of the uh, nucleus? Because you can see that there are only two nucleons in a nucleus, that is the protons and the neutrons. And the neutrons are neutral materials or neutral particle, it, it is having no charge. So the charge of the nucleus is the charge of the proton. So you can see that if there are set number of the, the, the mass atomic number of the uh, nucleus or nucleus is Z 
of the uh, number of protons in the nucleus is set, then set it to the charge of one proton will give the charge of the total nucleus. That means if there are set number of protons, then the charge of one proton is uh, E plus. This is actually the charge of the electron. That is the electron is having minus charge and proton is having plus charge. So the magnitude of the charge is same for both the protons and the electrons. So set into E will give the uh, total number of, uh, total charge of the nucleus. So what is E actually? E is 1.6 into n raised to minus 19 coulomb. This much cooler. So uh, this E to set gives the total charge of the nucleus. So the value of Z can be derived using different experiment, uh, different X-ray uh, experiment you can find out the value of Z. So the third property is the nuclear charge, it is mainly the charge of the uh, proton, the total charge of the or the number of protons into the charge of one proton will give the charge of the nucleus.